Okay, so remember that they're changing my voice. Um, this is part two. I was kind of having an internal conflict about whether or not to do Daniel 3 and Daniel 5 first or to talk about Isaiah. Um, but we're, let's just go ahead and do Daniel 3 here. Let's read from the start here. The image of gold and the blazing furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold, 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide, and set it up on the plain of Dura, like the word duration, in the province of Babylon. Okay. He then summoned the satraps, prefects, governors, and advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image he had set up. Okay. So they all come, right? And if we go down to verse 5, or let's go, let's go to verse 4. Okay. They just basically let, they label all those people. They come to, and so on and so forth. Verse 4. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, Nations and peoples of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Therefore, as soon as they heard the sound of the horn, flute, zither, Lear, harp, and all kinds of music, all the nations and peoples of every language fell down and worshipped the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. At this time, some astrologers or Chaldeans came forward and denounced the Jews. So it's important to note that the, the image was 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide. And if we go to, uh, and, and it's, it's a Babylonian image, right, set up by King Nebuchadnezzar. This can be Nebuchadnezzar. He's replaced, okay, in Daniel 5, um, at the end of Daniel 5, verse 31, and Darius the Mede took over the kingdom at the age of 62. So we see this kind of historical replacement of the Babylonian Empire, right? The Persians, the Medes, what have you. So it's the 666, right? 60 cubits high, 6 cubits wide. Darius uh, takes over at age 62. In fact, also, if you need another 6, the word Daniel has 6 letters. Okay. We also see that it talks about the nations and languages, right? The the prostitute, the Babylonian whore, right? Mystery Babylon, right? You know, so Babylonian king, King Nebuchadnezzar, and Mystery Babylon, the prostitute in Revelation 17. She's sitting by many uh, waters, and the waters are said to symbolize the peoples, the nations, the multitudes, and languages. And notice that everybody responded to the sounds they heard. So they mixed the music, right? They're dancing to the devil's tune, what have you. The astrologers, who are also Chaldeans or Babylonians, okay, came forward and denounced the Jews. They said, why aren't you doing it? Those of you who are really circumcised in heart, who really serve God, why aren't you, you know, they're arguing that why aren't they serving the devil, right? And they denounced them. Like people, especially attractive women by their actions, right, are denouncing me for not conforming and not playing the game and being a mark punk and accepting the mark of the beast, right? Because I do not accept the mark of the beast, I will never. So that's Daniel 3 and Daniel 5. You see, it has to do with the image that they talk about of the beast that they're worshiping, but it's it's figurative. And again, just like with the temple, the image is this, this big image of gold, right? It's like the image of a, of a person. And they're thrown into the blazing furnace, right? And it's figuratively speaking, right? It says in the Bible that Jerusalem is the furnace and Zion is the fire. So it's this kind of the eternal disgrace and punishment. In fact, if we go to the, the end of Daniel, uh, the last chapter of Daniel. Um, it says in you know Daniel 12, uh, verse, I guess it's 2. Multitudes will sleep in the dust of of the earth will awake some to everlasting life others to shame and everlasting contempt so it refers to being thrown into the spiritual realm of disgrace while you're still on earth whether other people see it that way or not and then thrown into everlasting shame and contempt when you die you know your, your soul um, eternal punishment eternal burning what have you 